Hello, hello. This is Florin from the Center for the Study of Democracy at Babes Boya University in Cluj, Romania, with the help, generous help, of Matei Tudor, who's a student in the master's program in research methods in our department, that is political science, where the Center for the study of democracy is also located. Uh, I will show you an example of how to make maps in Tableau Public. So, the example that we will discuss is a, a map of Romania where we see the county level vote for the candidate Klaus Johannes in the second round of the 2014 presidential election uh, as percentage of, of the total. Now, uh, what do we need? We need two things. We need Tableau Public. There's a freeware version that you can download from the Tableau Public site. Uh, you'll have these links uh, in the video description uh, as well. So you go to Tableau Public and here you can download the app. Okay. And then you also need a data set, yeah, uh, which you'll be able to download from uh, my Dropbox. Okay, so here's the data set, right? You can see uh, 41 Romanian counties and percentage of the vote for Johannes in the second round. Okay, so assuming that you've downloaded Tableau Public, so you can run it, you have the database, you save it locally on your computer, laptop, whatever. We open Tableau Public. Uh, Let's look up Tableau Public. Here it is. Okay. So, go to File, Open. I uh, forgot to mention, uh, Tableau Public is compatible with uh, various formats for datasets, uh, I think SPSS, Stata, datasets, uh, various others, but I use Excel, you can use something else. Okay, so we open the dataset, right, and to start here we have the data set yeah. uh, to start making the, 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 the map. We go to sheet one. Yeah. And the first thing we want to tell uh, Tableau that we want a map at the county level. Alrighty. Now, for the time being, uh, Tableau Public doesn't know that we want Romania. Uh, the default in Tableau Public is US. So unless you tell you tell Tableau, otherwise uh, uh, we'll think it's in the US. Okay, so we want to tell Tableau that no, we're not in the US. We're in uh, Romania. Okay, so. We go to geographic role here, yes, and instead of county, we select state province. Uh, okay, and now Tableau knows that we're in Romania. Okay, now this map doesn't look very pretty, yeah, well, for our purpose that is. So, um, we want to tell 
tabloided. We want the results for Johannes in the second round of the 2014 presidential election. And we have it over here, yes. So, now, if we go to color, the tableau will color the counties uh, as a function of the results for Johannes. Um, so, uh, from light blue to dark blue. Yeah. Here are dark blue are the counties where he got the best vote. Here are the counties where he got uh, his worst uh, results. Okay. We, in addition to colors, we might also want to have percentages. Yes. So, we already chosen colors uh, can also put labels right and now we also have percentages alrighty uh, another thing that we can do say um, assuming this instead of Romania was uh, United States and instead of Johannes we had Trump okay uh, conventionally, Republicans, and therefore Dr Trump, Trump uh, are red. Uh, that's the American convention, right? So, if that were the case, and these were Trump's best results, not very realistic in the context of Romania, but let's forget about that. Uh, we can go to color and edit colors, yeah, and we can choose red instead of blue. Uh, okay. So, I should say, okay, it's, or we can choose uh, red, blue, red, blue diverging, say. Uh, what the hell is that? Red, blue diverging. Okay. Now, once again, if this were Trump, we want to reverse colors. Yes. These would be very red, and these would be uh, dark blue. So, we can actually, uh, what is this? reverse, okay, yeah, so, now, dark blue becomes dark red and vice versa, okay, uh, what else we can do, uh, we can uh, change fonts, yes, no, oops, sorry. Uh, labels. Hey. Okay. Uh, so see here in this menu, we can choose larger font, say we can choose bold or italic. Uh, the default for fonts is Tableau Book, whatever that Tableau fonts are. Uh, say my once whatever Verdana okay now Verdana uh, another thing that we might want to do is to get rid of the neighbors get rid of the neighbors on the map on this map not get rid of the neighbors for good uh, uh, okay so we go to map map layers and we uncheck everything over there and now we're left with just the map of Romania uh, and the results for Johannes in the second round of the 2014 presidential election blah blah okay and the last thing 
we want to do is to save. Uh, I think there's also a way of saving this locally, but you can save it uh, on Tableau Public. So when you download uh, Tableau Public, you can also get a free account. And if you do that, say at this point, when you're done with the map, uh, you can uh, log in on your Tableau account and you save the map on that server. Uh, it's pretty good quality. You can also do a print screen, but uh, you know to put it on a on a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation or or whatever, or ha just have it locally saved. Uh, okay, so save to pub Tableau Public. Uh, am I? Oop. Wait. Okay, so say Johan is 2014, 2014, second round. Yeah, we can get a prettier title, but for the time being, that is uh, that's good enough. Okay. So, now the map is saved on Tableau Public. All right then, so that was my intro to making maps on Tableau Public. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, or complaints, here's my website and my email address. Um, thank you for your attention. Take care. Bye.